Hello and welcome to this course on remote production. I am so excited about this technology and you should be too. Opening up brand new avenues, avenues for video makers, content creators, production companies, almost every industry that uses video can take advantage of remote production in powerful ways. So let's get started. One of the great things about this course is that you're going to get to see behind the scenes what we do here at the Stream Geeks. And this is our production studio. You can see here we've got uh, Mike, my producer, who oftentimes will produce content in the local area network, right? Just like somewhat of a normal studio. We've moved to IP-based video production, and we'll talk a lot about that in this course. We use robotic PTZ cameras, which are controllable over the network, and we use a lot of internet-connected devices. You can see vMix on one screen here in the studio. We've got PTZ Optics Hive on the other screen. We're using Stream Decks. I would say this is a very modern studio, and it's going to give us uh, you as the student and me as the instructor, a lot of great examples to show real world how live streaming and video production works today and how we're transitioning to remote production to make new things possible in really, really interesting and powerful ways. So let me introduce you to this course and what we're going to learn together. So first of all, I'm the instructor. My name is Paul Richards. I have been in the professional audiovisual industry for over 15 years, and I specialize in live production. You may know me from PTZ Optics. You may know me from Stream Geeks, and you may know that I am so excited about remote production, and I'm gonna tamper down my excitement, but literally thousands of new jobs, Mil billions and trillions of dollars worth of video production and broadcast marketing and market globally is going to be affected by remote production in positive ways for video creators. So who is this course for? I want to start there. This is for anyone who does video production, who's interested in doing more of their work from a remote perspective, meaning being able to produce a live stream, create video content, remotely manage and monitor your video production equipment without having to actually go on site or send smaller teams and smaller crews on site. The cost savings uh, ranges from small coaches and you know f uh, sports teams all the way to large events and productions. As everyone in the middle here can really uh, benefit from remote production, which is why it's so interesting. So you could be a student, you could be a teacher, you could be a media director, you could be an IT person. The wide range, if you're using live streaming or video production technology, remote production is something you should probably learn about. What will you learn? Well, you're going to learn about NDI, you're going to learn about Dante, you're going to learn about SRT, you're going to learn about the tools that enable remote production. And generally, they're IP tools. So it's good for you to have a little bit of a background in networking. It, this is a more of a intermediate to advanced course. And the good news is, is that at Stream Geeks, we've already released over 10 courses on live streaming and video production, one of them being the basics of live streaming. So I am going to refer to some of the more foundational books and courses that we offer for you to you know learn from. So if you feel like this course is moving too quickly or you know I'm speaking another language, my recommendation is to go back to the basics, take maybe the unofficial guide to NDI where you're going to learn a lot about IP video, the basics of live streaming where you're going to we really break down the basics. And you're going to learn in this course, really how to streamline the whole remote production process. And I'm going to literally show you how we're doing it. We're going to go over case studies and chapter by chapter in the remote production book, we are going to break this down. Now, this book is included in the course description on Udemy. You can also get this at remoteproduction.com slash book, or you can purchase this book on Amazon if you'd like to have the paperback copy. 
the book is going to always have more fine details. It's almost like a reference guide that you can go back to chapter by chapter as you need. So it's really nice to have the book, a, this course centralized around the book so that you can really get a full learning experience here. So you can read the book in a sequence or you can use it as a reference. Each chapter will have an included video um, and a blog post on remoteproduction.com. And then each uh, major piece of software or hardware has a scannable QR code. So you can just scan the QR code and get directly to the area of interest that the book is discussing. As I mentioned, there's a lot of other books available. All of them are available for free at our Stream Geeks website. So just keep in mind, remote production is a little bit more advanced. It builds on top of the basics of live streaming, understanding NDI, understanding OBS and vMix. So um, this is a, a really powerful technology, but it has these fundamental concepts of IP video, right? Internet protocol, the way that literally all internet connected things communicate. Uh, we're going to talk about bandwidth. How do we use our upload and our download speeds that are provided to us from our internet service providers? And then once we have an IP network, a network that we can use for video and we understand our bandwidth, how do we start to use these tools that make it easier like NDI and Dante and SRT and RTMP? We'll then talk about expanding the systems, what we're encoding, right? Taking a raw video feed and compressing it so that we can send it over a local area network or the wide area network. We'll talk about decoding that video and why that's important so that we can create a larger system um, with displays and the ability to show all of this media. And we'll, at a high level, learn how to adapt to this digital age, which the broadcast industry is in the midst of this fundamental shift and transition. Now, you may have followed the Stream Geeks for a long time. You, you, this may be the first time you're ever hearing of the Stream Geeks, but we have been doing live streaming for over a decade, and we have a lot of experience in live streaming and remote production. And the early days, this is us, I'm going to say five or six, maybe seven years ago, um, with a Live View backpack, and we're with one of the senators. We're interviewing a senator in Pennsylvania, and just showing kind of uh, some of these experiences is going to help you learn as we go over some of the experiences that I've had, whether it be hosting the NAB show live stream, where we do a real production on site, but then also roam around the show floor and all of it being remotely produced in Florida, even though the event itself was in Los Angeles, uh, Las Vegas. So a lot of great experiences that I want to share with you guys throughout this online course. And that's what the videos will be a lot about, the sharing, the testing, the doing things, uh, actually doing. And then the book is for the reading and reflecting. So hopefully that becomes valuable to you. And right now, you know, there's brand new pieces of software and technology we're going to be going over. And then there's going to be the tried and true um, things that you need to know fundamentally. So we're going to go over all of that. And I could not be more excited. I mean, the things that we've done, the things that we reflect on, uh, it's just awesome. I cannot wait. And part of doing this is going to be going over live demonstrations. And I just wanted to show uh, really quickly a little bit of a behind the scenes of our studio here. You got to see it in the beginning. But this right here is... PTZ Optics Hive, and this is going to be a software that we go over quite a bit as we're discussing and learning about remote production, because you'll notice it's just in a Chrome browser. So this experience of controlling cameras, recording them, doing video switching, all of this can happen uh, anywhere in the world, whether you're in any computer, any network. Uh, I'm going to show you how all of this works, sharing access with others and doing real remote productions. So without further ado, I hope that you uh, are excited about this course. I hope that you enroll. I hope that the certificate that you get at the end helps you with the getting a new job or expanding your career and your opportunities. With all that being said, let's get started and we'll jump right in.